Welcome to 2024. Winter celebrations at the elementary schools. Girls wrestling. Information about some elective classes. And more. I'm Josh. And I'm Gavin. Welcome, Welcome to, to Bulldog, Bulldog Bites. Bites. We're starting the year by looking back at some things that happened before break. Some of you may have seen the Santa visit at the elementary schools, but in case you didn't, here are some highlights from his visit. Santa's on the roof! Santa surprised students at both Franklin and Clark Elementary with a visit on December 18th. The Franklin Elves, along with Santa, greeted students as they entered the building. The Elves were especially excited to surprise all the bus riders. Later that day, Santa appeared on the roof at Clark Elementary to wish them all a hearty goodbye for the day as a few of his elves handed out a bit of candy. It's unknown if a reindeer dropped off Santa on the roof but regardless, everyone wishes you Happy New Year! Winter fun was also held at Cluckon when the 5th graders hosted a holiday lunch. On December 15th, the 5th graders at Cluckon hosted a holiday meal for the younger students. 5th graders provided music and entertainment while serving the food. Franklin teachers also entertain the students before the break. High school students are registering for classes soon. Here are some reports on some elective classes available here at the high school. This is Family Consumer Science. In Family Consumer Science, you get so many opportunities and activities that come with it. I interviewed Ms. Buss, teacher who teaches Family Consumer Science, and asked about her classes. So I do single living, which is a lot of seniors that take that class and just to get ready for college. I also do foods and nutrition. We do a whole bunch of different um, food units, and then we usually do a lab and do that way. 
And then we also do 21st century foods, which is all the um, essential nutrients. And then we relate that to the lab. And then culinary arts. And that's a tons of hands-on cooking classes that, again, it follows like a certain kind of unit. Like we um, just got done with like um, pies. So we did a pie competition. And then I'm also doing child development next semester. Um, I think my classes are a lot of fun. It's kind of a good little break from your core classes. Um, yeah, as long as you like to try foods, it's a good class for you to take. Um, honestly, anybody can take my classes as long as you're open to trying different foods. Uh, it's just fun to learn how to see kids go from not knowing anything to kitchens to becoming pros at it. So it's fun. So if, even if you just want to learn a little bit about kitchen skills or even life skills, um, this is a good class for you. I'm working on a gingerbread house. It's like really easy and Mrs. Bus is really nice. A gingerbread house. See? Um, it's really easy and it's fun. There are a lot of different classes to take in art. For example, art fundamentals, drawing, painting, pottery, sculpture, and more. Art, it's because it allows me to express myself creatively and explore my passions. Uh, by doing art, I can also communicate with others and connect with others. I did art is because the teachers are really nice and it's kind of like a break from all like classes because you don't have homework and stuff. What I mostly enjoy about art is that I can express myself through drawings or just simply painting. What I enjoy about art is it's easy credits. My favorite project for this semester in art was the positive and negative cutouts. The hardest project I have done is probably on barn drawing because it's a lot of shading. Yoshi San is here and he's going to give you a dance break before you make the easiest decision in your life. Make sure to talk to Mrs. Hill or Mr. Copperwood if any of these classes interest you. Personally, if you take this class, you might find your hitting talent. Ms. Boofy is also the active conditioning coach. I got to sit down and ask her a couple questions. Here's what she had to say. I've been teaching active conditioning. This is my second year now at Lamar's High School. What are some things to expect when taking active conditioning? Some things you can expect if you take active, active conditioning with me are to be active, a variation of things. Um, you can also expect to kind of have a role in what we do. I have had some classes who really enjoy different sports or different activities, so I try to incorporate those a little bit more. I've had other classes who enjoy yoga and walking, so we'll do that as well. So as long as you're active, um, trying to stay fit, getting moving, then that's what you can expect from active conditioning. What made you choose to be the active conditioning coach? I've always been interested in health and fitness, so when the job came open to teach health and PE, I jumped on it because it's just um, something that I've always enjoyed throughout my life. What's your favorite part about teaching this class? My favorite thing about coaching active conditioning would just be that I like to be active. I don't like sitting around all day. I don't like being in front of the computer. So being active and leading a group of students who want to be active as well is my favorite thing about this class. Why might someone choose active conditioning over regular PE? Um, someone might choose active conditioning over regular PE. If you like to go to the weight room, if you like fitness, exercise, going for walks, yoga, um, body weight exercises, different things like that, then you might want to choose active conditioning over team sports or a traditional PE class. What's one interesting or fun fact about this class? That's pretty fun. 
The interesting thing I would say about this class is that I really do let the class dictate what we do each day. If they like a certain thing um, and they're active, then I, I, I roll with it. Let's go, let's do that. If that's what you enjoy and you're active, perfect, that's fine with me. Um, I also like the variation and we keep it we keep it moving, we keep it changing so that people don't get bored. So that's probably the most interesting thing about active conditioning. I also got a chance to speak with one of the students participating in the class. Ms. Boogie's a really good coach. It was more interesting, it looked fun. Lamar's offers a variety of music programs including one where students can study up on their music history. That class is called Music Appreciation and is taught by our band director, Mr. Pritchard. Music Appreciation is a class here that we offer. It's uh, worth college credit and basically we learn a little bit about music history throughout the last 2,000 years or so. The class tackles a variety of topics in the history of music from Western civilization. So we start out with music from antiquity, so before 1450. We learn a little bit about how music notation came around, um, early music in the church, and then through the Renaissance and the Baroque and Classical periods up through the Romantic period and into the 20th century. And then we also learn about Jazz music, rock and roll, country, hip hop, and R&B. The environment of the class is very relaxed. The class environment is in the band room, so it's not traditional. There are no desks. Um, sometimes we also have a big, long, old lunch table. Sometimes the students are just in chairs. Or if we're missing all the chairs, sometimes the students <laughs> lay on the floor like we did today. Mr. Pritchard hopes to grow the class more. So I really like to grow the class and get more students involved who are not in band, choir, or orchestra so we can kind of expand the reach of what we do in the music department. Um, we already take one field trip every fall to the Music Museum up in Vermilion, but I'd like to also uh, take students to some other musical performances down in Sioux City or possibly Omaha. Thank you, Mr. Pritchard, for taking the time to explain the class. I would personally recommend the class for students who want a more in-depth understanding of how music progressed. It's very interesting how we have evolved from classical music like Mozart to things like modern pop. Also, the extra college credit is very nice. This is Dimitri from Bulldog Video Media, signing out. Video Media is an elective class that Lamar's offers to all students, freshman through senior. I got the chance to interview Dimitri about the class. In Video Media, we create Bulldog Bites, is this it? Well, first you have to learn the steps to create Bulldog Bites. Learn how to use the camera, learn how to use Da Vinci, you have to learn how to do interviews, all of that. But after you get past that, you just work on Bulldog Bites and you make the show and you contribute to the show. Dimitri likes to edit film in particular. I enjoy a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. I enjoy editing, I enjoy working with sound, I enjoy all of that. In his everyday life, Dimitri thinks that he will continue to use the skills that he learned in video media. I think the skills I've learned in video media is just going to help me with like hobby stuff. I do kind of want to pursue editing and pursue that as a hobby as I learn my main career, which is computer science. And finally, we had Dimitri run us through a normal day in video media class. A normal day is mostly Isabrain interrogating you to ask if you have anything done and if what are you going to do this week. And then you have to answer her like, yes, I have something to do or no, I don't have something to do. Either she will give you something or you will sit there twiddling your thumbs for a bit until you come up with something to do. And then you come up with something to do, right? And then you do that thing. Either it's go film a story, go do a run and gun edit someone else's story for them, edit Bulldog Bites, and then after you're done with that, the day is over with. You just have to do something or else Isabrand is just going to get on you. That's it. The girls wrestling team had a big meet before break. Levi gives us the information. Congratulations to our girls wrestling team for winning the conference meet on Thursday. Of the 14 weight classes, seven of them were won by Lamar's girls. Brooklyn DeRocher, Kira Hosinius, Marilyn Roller, Autumn Olson, Crane Pena, Riley Ernst, and Britt Hosinius. Now we finished off with some winter trivia.